Robert and, 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 and Valerie. Valerie, has, Valerie yeah. had asked me to ask you if you could come up with a really fine, right, right. fine, uh, uh, what do we eggnog, call it? Eggnog, 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 eggnog yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, of course, he can come up with a fine anything. And I, just said, name can, it. I said, can the bishop come up with a prayer? Yeah, that's huh? right. And, we, huh? and, 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 and the bishop was angry at you for that. <laughs> no, you know? no, the bishop, <laughs> the bishop sent me a prayer over the email. <laughs> he did, huh? You pray for your soul. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, then we got uh, some of our recipes. Uh, a couple of you sent in eggnog recipes, but Bill Warren sent in a recipe which I really like because it called for four <laughs> cups hey. of liquor. Four cups, huh? I'm worried about Bill. <laughs> <laughs> but Bill, Paul and I tried out last night and we, we had a hangover this oh, morning. Yeah, we, we, we this morning <laughs> so we made a tamer version of Bill's recipe. You ready? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Now eggnog, uh, you know there were a lot of old world drinks from the old country that mixed uh, milk and wine and milk and liquors of some kind. But then uh, here in America, uh, they started to make holiday drinks using cream mixed with rum, and of course the word for rum is grog, so when uh, you mix egg with grog, well, you know the rest of that story, huh? You ready? Rhymes with nog. Yeah, something like that, oh, yeah. yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. Huh? I stick with okay. this guy long enough. <laughs> so I have, right. two, I have two quarts of heavy whipping cream right. in the pot here. Now you can use half and half. I'm using heavy whipping cream because I have friends coming can over. Can you scorch that if you don't yeah. watch it? Well, of course you can scorch it if you well, if you don't watch well, it. I'm thinking about Valerie now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah, Valerie. Well, <laughs> recipes on our website, y'all, WFB.com. Paul, I have six eggs here. I'm uh, just go ahead and whip them together. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar in there. I only saw two yolks. Kind of blended. No, no, no. Six yolks right there. Oh, okay. Uh, Bill's recipe called for a gallon. <laughs> I'm doing two quarts. <laughs> okay. And he called for a dozen eggs, so I do it two quarts, and I'm using we're, six eggs. Isn't that nice? We're now I'm going to put a half a pound, uh, a half a pound of confectioner sugar. You got that? Just keep on going. Into that, I'm going to add a little bit clove. Just keep on mixing that up, Paul. A little bit cinnamon, a little bit nutmeg, and uh, and and Bill's recipe called for nutmeg around the top of the glasses. But Bill, I decided to add a little bit of my favorite spices to it. Uh, and right here, of course, a little bit fresh, uh, whole uh, fresh vanilla here, pure vanilla. Now bring that over here, Paul. I've got my cream valerie at 190 degrees. I'm not boiling it. Now, Paul, I'm going to temper the eggs. You go ahead and uh, whip, whip it in there. Tempering the eggs means to put the hot cream into the egg yolk to kind of keep it from scrambling by going into the pot. So I'm going to temper them, not eat nice and warm, get all that sugar mixed in there, Paul. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to take my whip. Now, you slowly pour it back into my cream. Just slowly pour it right back okay, down. Right in back in there. Yeah, just pour it in. I'm going to whip real hard because if I don't, I might scramble eggs in here. Now, y'all, you're going to bring this back up to 190 degrees, and when it hits 190 degrees... How do you oh, know that? you got to have a thermometer. you got a little thermometer. Okay. See my little thermometer yes. right here? Yep. Look, I have mine right here, and I'm a, right. a well-trained cook, and I keep my <laughs> thermometer. So, Paul, a quarter cup of brandy. And of course, right. you're going to eliminate the alcohol if you don't want it. A little bit, quarter cup of brandy, a quarter cup of grog, mm -hmm. rum, a quarter cup of your favorite bourbon. Mm -hmm. huh? You can use any bourbon you like, just a little mm -hmm. quarter cup. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Swish that around, get it up to 200 degrees, and once it gets to 200, y'all take it off of the fire, pour it through a strainer into a nice cold bowl, a nice cold pot, refrigerate it. And Paul, you know those six egg yolks I had? I took the six egg whites and I whipped them, and when we come back, we're gonna mix them into that, and then you're gonna be able to, to taste it. Okay? And when we come back, yeah. a special, Very special guest, guest yeah. a wonderful woman who's leaving us. At Channel 9. She's, uh, she's not leaving us. She'll, well, she's yeah. going to another occupation. Yeah, yeah, but she'll be. You know, we'll she, see she'll her. come we'll to see, see us we'll see all the time. Yeah. Hey, can't stay with Yes, indeed. John has a book signing six to eight, Barnes and Noble tonight. Yeah, if anybody needs a book, you can look get through that traffic. Just yeah, go. Oh, you can make it. To see me, huh? <laughs> look oh, at this beautiful lady right here. <laughs> my friend, Julie Baxter. You all know her. She's been working here for years and years and yet? years. Yeah, go ahead. Right, this Paul? is Julie's last day as a news reporter, uh, editorial board member, uh, anchor for. Uh, for WAFB TV Channel 9, and we're certainly going to miss her. She's going into the law profession. She well, has I'm a lot of degree. I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook. And she'll be a, a, cook, a, a cooking lawyer who <laughs> does investigative journalism. We, we opened the catering right. business. That's you right. didn't know. I'm going to go cook. <laughs> and all my friends say, please don't. <laughs> well, that's enough nutmeg. Julie's that enough? doing. Julie's doing the nutmeg Lord, right Julie. here. Yeah. And y'all, look, you see how we we we're taking the uh, uh, the whipped egg white 
uh, we've uh, whipped it with sugar, and now we're folding it in. We don't want to crush it down there, because every time you get a ladle, and Paula must serve right now, give me your ladle. Let me get Julie's. Julie's oh. right here. Oh, you want to make sure yeah. you have some of that wonderful uh, egg white on top of it with the nutmeg. And oh. this has no alcohol in it. No we alcohol. Did, we did this one for you. And y'all, recipes on the website, WFB.com. Go ahead and take a taste. Thanks. Huh? Well, what a good final mm. drink for her here. Absolutely. Very good. Here, She'll be with the lawyers a now. Toast, a toast, a toast, a toast. Of course, don't drink alcohol.